Congratulations on creating your first Android Jetpack Compose project. Jetpack Compose is a modern toolkit for building native Android UIs using a declarative approach. Let's break down the key terms and concepts in this project. At first, we define a composable function. Composable functions are the building blocks of Jetpack Compose. They are annotated with composable annotation and define the UI components. Composable functions can call other composable functions to build complex user interfaces. They are declarative, meaning you describe what the UI should look like and the Compose handles how to render it. They accept parameters like text and modifier to make them reusable. Also, they accept parameters, like in this example, the name is of type string. I want from you to write down all these notes in the next videos and in the projects we're going to make comments. So please write these notes down in your copybook or your Android Studio. Characteristics of composable functions. No return type, typically. Unlike traditional Android views, which return a view objects, composables do not return anything explicitly. Instead, they describe what should be drawn. Here, in the, inside the greeting composable function, we are defining and calling a text composable. So we define what should be drawn, which is a text. Composable functions always prefixed with composable annotation. Also, they can be nested. Composable functions can contain other composables. For example, in this case, the greeting composable function contains a text composable function. Reusable and modular. Composable functions encourage reusability and modularity, meaning that this function or the composable function can be used multiple times with different labels. The parameters of the composable function are input passed to composable functions to customize their behavior or appearance. Parameters make composable functions reusable and flexible. They can be of any type, including primitives, objects, or even other composable functions. We're going to see the term modifier. What is modifier? Modifiers are used to customize the appearance or behavior of a composable UI element. In the next videos, we're going to deep dive into modifiers. But I want from you to understand that modifiers are used to customize the appearance or behavior of composable UI elements. Okay, this is about the composable functions. If we scroll down, we can notice the preview, composable greeting preview. The preview annotation allows you to see a live preview of your composable function directly in Android Studio. Previews are only available in Android Studio and are not part of the runtime app. You can customize the preview with parameters like show background, device, or background color. If you need to uh, see live preview of your app, you can click on this split icon or Alt plus Shift plus right to get a live preview of your application. So the preview annotation allows you to see a live preview of your composable function directly in Android Studio. Okay, so for example, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Master Coding. Okay, so you can see the live preview of your UI. This is the role of the preview annotation. If we scroll up, let's uh, go back to the main activity. The entry point of your app where the Compose UI is set. The set content function is used to define the root composable of your app. This is where UI hierarchy starts. So the set content is very important. Okay, this is very important. So set content define the root composable of your app. This is where UI hierarchy starts. If you can notice the greeting app theme, this is a custom theme of your app. 
It wraps your UI components and applies consistent styling such as coloring, topography, and shapes based on material design guidelines. Later on, we'll deep dive into themes. Also, the scaffold is a pre-built composable. You can notice that this is a composable. So composable, a pre-built composable that provides a basic structure for your app's UI. Following the material design guidelines, it includes lots for common uh, components like top app bar, bottom tap uh, app bar, floating action button, and snack. Button. Later on, we're going to deep dive into scaffold. Inside these UI composables, we're going to call our function, which is the greeting. So we created till now a greeting composable function. We need to call it inside the main activity. We said that it's an entry point for the app where the UI is set. And inside the set content function, we need to define the root composable, which is the theme and the scaffold. And Inside the, uh, the, the, the scaffold, we need to define the UI hierarchy. Moreover, you can uh, remove the scaffold, for example, like this. You can, you can um, call the function directly inside the set content, but is, uh, it's uh, preferred to call them in a scaffold because, uh, for complex UI elements. Okay, so I can remove the scaffold like this. Also, we can uh, remove the greeting app theme, as I told you. But the most important thing that we should mention it inside the onCreate function is the set content, where all your composables should be uh, called here or calling the root functions because they may be nested composables. Okay, so let me call the greeting function composable functions are like the regular functions but they are annotated with composables and are used to define ui components it's similar to the regular uh, functions by calling them so i mention the name of the function the composable function to call it okay guys so in this video we learned about the composable functions and their characteristics. We learned about the preview and we learned about the set content. Before we close uh, and see you in the next videos, I want from you to grab the special offers from uh, my courses. Want to build your own mobile apps and turn ideas into reality? These are my courses on Udemy. You can enroll them because they are best sellers. This is the complete Android 15 course part one, mastering Java and Kotlin. If you want to learn uh, Java and Kotlin and master the XML, um, XML creation and app creation, you can join this uh, 784 lectures. Also, if you want to uh, master Jetpack Compose, you can enroll in part two. So this is the part two, the complete Android 15 part two, Jetpack Compose. Also, it's a bestseller course. You can uh, master Room, MVVM, Firebase, Retrofit, Hill, Dependency Injection, and other concepts. Also, you can apply the coupon. So uh, if you want to apply, you can get the coupons from the description below. For example, master coding. Uh, try to add the numbers like three, four, five uh, to get your free coupon. Okay, so apply and you get the free discount. Okay, thank you guys. See you next videos. Don't miss to subscribe, like and comment below if you like this video and want to get more videos like this.